Hi everybody, Dr. Zach here and it's Tuesday, April 14th. And I just wanna check in, see everybody is weathering the storm, see what's going on today. Um, here in Colorado, we're seeing beautiful sunshine. The snow is melting at a pretty rapid pace and uh, you know, it's just always good to see the seasonal change that takes place. Yesterday I was talking to you and I, sh I shared a story about Wilma Rudolph and the, the context was really choosing, being intentional about who we're going to listen to. Um, what words of truth that we're going to receive and that we're going to embrace. You know, in that story, we talked about how the medical doctors told her that she'd never walk normally. And her mother told her she could do anything that she wanted. You know, we look at the authorities, the, the scientists, the doctors, the people that are put into a position that we trust. And oftentimes we put a whole lot of um, authority and trust in their words when their words can actually become word curses. And so we have to be careful. We have to, to choose who we're going to listen to carefully. Today, I want to kind of shift gears and talk about what are we going to look at or what do we see as we're going through life? So as we're all maneuvering through this coronavirus, COVID-19 um, situation scenario, you know, how are we seeing things? What do we look for? Are we looking and seeing, okay, we got this major crisis and our whole goal is just to somehow get past this crisis because then hopefully we can get back to a normal life or do we see an opportunity you know when we see a challenge in front of us it can have two effects it can break us down it can it can impede our progress or we can look at it as a, an opportunity to actually strategize figure out a solution to conquer that and to come out stronger on the other end so as i was having my workout this morning i realized you know that i was intentionally choosing to do something hard because the goal was that on the other end of that I would be stronger as a result and so with the challenges that come our way we have an opportunity to look at them as an, an obstacle that just stops us that uh, is is there to break us down or we can look at it as an opportunity to grow and to become stronger as a result of that and it really comes back to to what we decide to do with it it's our mindset going into that so as we're maneuvering through this, I want you to think, okay, what is it that, uh, that I can actually gain or I can grow from this experience? But I also wanna shift it to where I'm asking you for help in this as well. Um, one of my favorite quotes is from St. Irenaeus, and uh, it's simply this, the glory of God is man fully alive. I think that as we're going through this season that we're in right now, we're seeing that, that our life is kind of being snuffed out of us. And now we're several weeks into this, and I know that I've been getting agitated and that there's something stirring up inside of me that's coming back to life again. Because I don't want to be suppressed. I don't want to have my life force squeezed out of me. I don't want to have to be pushed back into a corner and told to sit still and behave. I want to be out doing things. I actually want to be taken and making a difference in the world. I want to be growing and having an impact. I want to see you becoming more fully alive. And that's what my goal is, that's what my passion is, that's what my purpose, that's the purpose of the Lifehouse is to help people become more fully alive, the person that God created them to be. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take some time today and, and get back to me on this if you can. Just reply in your, in your box or put a, a little note on Facebook to what you see some of your biggest challenges that you face, not just right now in this season, but throughout your life in becoming more fully alive. So, you know, we know that we're supposed to eat right and exercise and we got this healthy lifestyle thing and all of this that goes on, we know that. We don't always do that. We know that there are certain things that we could be doing to help us push the needle in the right direction, but we have a challenge doing some of those. So I want you to get back to me and let me know what the biggest challenge is that you face over and over and over again that really keeps you from crossing that threshold and becoming the person that you want to be that is fully alive. And the reason I ask this is that I know what some of mine are and I want to work to get past those. I want to put together some strategies so that we can actually take this next season once we recover from Corona and go on to, to higher levels than we ever have before and that we can use this as, a, as really kind of a, a stepping stone to help us move in the right direction. So here's your homework. Take some time and figure out, okay, what's the obstacle that I keep coming up against and I start making some progress and it's the one that kind of pushes me backwards and I start going the wrong direction again. Um, if you could really see a breakthrough in one area, what would that be? 
get back to me on that, and uh, then we're going to put together some strategies on seeing if we can get past that. Till next time, this is Dr. Zach. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day.